Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the book of Philippians. Today we're at Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Let's read it. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So God wants to hear from us. He wants to hear from you. He wants to hear, what does it say? Prayer, supplication, thanksgiving. And those are three different attitudes. Prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. We are supplicating, pleading with God. Uh, thanksgiving expresses our awareness and, and uh, affirmation that what God does is good. And we might not see how all the pieces work out, what we think is good. But we know that in the end, it will work out for our good. So we learn to trust him through. When you get a diagnosis for a bad disease that you have, and you're saying, well, how can this work out good? But you know what? God will be able to bring things so that they work out in a good way. The first thing here it says is be anxious for nothing. And a lot of times, let's just be honest, we tend to be very anxious for a lot of things. We're very concerned. We're very nervous. Oh, no, something might change. And so we get all nervous. But as Christians, we can just take a deep breath. We can be anxious for nothing. And this is one thing we can practice day by day, men and women. If you're a believer, instead of being nervous and wondering, you know, what's going to happen? Is there going to be a loud noise in the next five minutes? Be anxious for nothing. Trust the Lord Jesus. It's all right. He has your back in everything. By prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to him. So you have requests. God knows you have requests. You know you have requests. What are you asked to do? You are asked to actually, intentionally bring those requests to him in an attitude, in a spirit of trust, and a spirit of thanksgiving, a spirit of supplication, and seeking him in prayer. And so if we bring him our needs, what bad can come from that? Can't think of anything. Let your requests be made known to God. It doesn't tell him something he doesn't know. I'll tell you what it does. It tells you. It tells you. It helps your mind. It helps you say to yourself, I shared this with God. God wants the best for me. And now this is being processed by heaven in some which way. And I can just be very glad and relaxed and know that God knows what I want. And he is going to answer in a way which is an answer of peace. Unless I'm Unless I'm adamant to have it my way, sometimes you might get answers you don't want. So let's cooperate with God. It says here, as a result of this, the peace of God, not any random peace, but the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. In other words, there's really no way you can put into words what it means to live with that peace in you. And I experience this day by day, even though there are many pressures and things that come down upon me, I, I do not stay up at night worrying about the future because God is the one that I'm just letting letting him take care of that. I don't have to worry about it. It says the peace of God which surpasses all understanding that will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I want you to notice here that he guards our hearts and our minds. It, it matters to him what we feel. It matters to him what we think. The character is composed of the thoughts and feelings combined. God knows that. And so he wants our thoughts and feelings to be unburdened. How can we do it so that it's unburdened? We approach him in prayer. We tell him what our needs are, and we become anxious for nothing because we know that God has your per best purpose and my best purpose at heart. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we can trust you. We learn it by trusting you day by day. Sometimes we have struggles to learn to trust and maybe we've, Lord, and it may be that we have not uh, been giving you opportunities to earn our trust. We instead sort of blockade you when you're trying to help us learn to trust. So may we not blockade you. May we learn to trust in Jesus and send our prayer requests to you and then know that there is a response, a, a response that will be best for our lives that's still coming back. Bless us, Lord, we pray. May we be anxious for nothing and trust in you. And that's our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, there's your advice for today from the Word of God, the book of Philippians. Paul tells the Philippians, and he tells you and I, be anxious for nothing. The Lord is on his throne. God be with you today.